Hi, I'm Darlene from the Glass House in Chatham, Kent, Ontario, and we are busy today making fairy gardens. Just to go over some really basic points, uh, once you've cho chosen your container, you need to line it with plastic, and that just helps preserve your container, and if you're using live plants, it will um, keep water from seeping out or leaking out onto your floor. So you just fill it up with soil and press it rather firmly. But you don't want all your little houses and things to sink in once it's all settled. So once you have a level surface, then you can start adding little features. You can create pathways with little stones or pieces of flat rock. You can set them in. You can even just simply sprinkle them on top of the soil. Just use your imagination. Think of those Hansel and Gretel stories from your childhood and the pictures that you had in your mind as the stories were being read. And of course, you need plants. So if you decide, maybe I've got ahead of myself, but if you decide to add live plants, you have good light for live plants, you can just, you can keep them in the pots if you like, or you can take them out of the pots. Just make a little hole, sink them in, cover them up. Don't forget to water them. You can also use artificial plants to really make your life easy. Just popping them in. You can make little elevation changes in your fairy garden. If you have little mounds of soil, you can cover them with moss and make it look like you're out in the forest in a little mossy place. And of course, add Mushrooms. Your little fairies. Come back out to the again. And there's so many wonderful little packaged things that you can add. We have bird baths and tiny birds, tiny little fairies. And it's nice to be able to use things that are in scale with what you're using. So you certainly want a fairy that will fit through the door of the house as opposed to a really big fairy. There's little watering cans, all kinds of things that you can add. You can even make it a sunny day. The fairies out on their lawn chairs. In the shade, of course, fairies like shade. There she is. And what else do we want to add? I would probably add another little tree over on this side. Just to, just to give it some scale. So you can do that as well. Put a little tree in there. And just have fun. Just play with it. And this is a great project for kids too. And we have a great selection of fairy gardens 
that we've put together to inspire you. Um, there's just so many ideas. We use lots of rocks and stones as well to give it a natural feeling. You could certainly add bits of, of fresh moss. So have fun with your fairy gardens and come and see us at the glass house. We'll give you lots of inspiration.